Oh right, guys, so a little bit of crud come up. I'm checking a bit more closely. Good morning to you all. Well, to us, very early morning. We've got out here early today. We're back onto a canal. We are going to the river later. We're trying this canal because um, I'll get some filming later because Marie won't go in there. But there is actually a pillbox here, and it's got a lot of military history. There's actually a shooting range just here as well. We're in the back backgrounds of Tamworth at the moment. So later on, we're going to go down by the castle onto the river and look for some older stuff. I've even bought my waders just in case. But uh, yeah, at the moment, I don't know if you can see that there. I've had that stick out, stick, post, pin, whatever you want to call it. And I've had a bike hub. So yeah, keep having a little go and wish us luck. There is, yes, there is. Yeah. And uh, if you've got a boat, if we find any windlasses, yeah. I'll yeah. drop them up on the, uh, uh, by the boat. Because right? the windlasses are classic ones to go up. Yes, There's they so are. so many at the bottom of the fucking locks. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> but, and half a dozen phones belong to me probably as well. Too. I've lost a few, but they're not I think we had uh, 20 windlasses in one day, the ones. 20 windlasses? Yeah. Yeah, they're worth a few pounds to see, you know. They are, yes. You know, we just we... give them out to the boaters. If we no, get them out, we, we just give them back I because know. they're... They're no use for you. They're no you use for me. You can't sell them, can you? No. Morning. 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 <laughs> Great day for Sunday, isn't it? Have you found any Rolex watches yet? <laughs> oh, no, not yet. Not yet. It's still early, though. It's still early. I, I put in my order already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stay in the queue. <laughs> Happy Easter. Cheers. There we go, guys. So, er... Uh, First thing I've pulled up I recognise, and it's actually an old padlock. Not mega old, but it's still a nice padlock, all the same. Oh, nice. You've got a lot of padlock. Yes. And we've tried this historic location, haven't we? <laughs> I've got a rake. <laughs> I've got yeah, a historic rake, look. <laughs> this is a 17th century one, this is. I know by the shape of the prongs. <laughs> <laughs> I say historic, but it obviously goes back as far as canals. And uh, well, it, actually, it is historic. This, uh, this, these woods are, aren't they? There's a number of things going on here. Yeah. One is the canal. The canal, the river, obviously beat the canal to it. The river was here first. That's been here for about ten thousand years. Over right there is a pillbox because all of this is military of defence, uh, Ministry of Defence land, and this was the training range for the Staffordshire Regiment. And Whittington Barracks, which is their home, is over there. As is a rifle range, which is over there. <laughs> so we thought probably there'd be a bits of uh, military kit in the water, yeah. or a couple of bullets or something. Uh, but it was interesting. And this is that pillbox there is one of many along here because it's it was part of a stop line. And a stop line was certain points in the country that were set up to defend if the Germans invaded. So that's one of about a dozen pillboxes all the way along the River Tame here. And this was like the point of, you know, we stand and fight here, they're not getting beyond here. And they're called stop lines. It's quite a few of them across the uh, country. Uh, so yes, there's history here. And that's what we're about. And that's what we're about. Yeah. 
searching for the history. Yes. And this, um, these woods, they actually go back to medieval times, don't they? As I'm far as I know. I'm sure they. I'm sure they do. Yes, I can imagine it was probably uh, King Henry the Seventh's hunting <laughs> forest or something. They used to hunt deer here. <laughs> But I'm, I am making that up actually, I don't know that for a fact. But yeah, that's what a lot of modern forests are. They were old king's hunting grounds. That's why they're still here. That's why they survive. They didn't get cut down. Anyway, we'll find something. We will. As we always do. Jeez, that's heavy. What the hell? What is that? It's an ingot. It's a metal ingot. You know, like um, in Banbury when we were pulling out bits of iron ingot yeah. from the foundry. That's an iron ingot. What on earth is that doing here? Somebody must have been using that for ballast in a in a boat, maybe. Yeah, it could be. There's, there's no foundry here. I wonder it's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Now, not a lot of people know this, but scaff clamps were actually developed by the Romans. This one is a Saxon one. You can tell, you see, because of the angle of that down there. Because they used to use wooden poles. So, yeah, Saxon scaff. How can you beat that, Murray? How can I beat it? How can I beat it? I've got a Neolithic ingot here. <laughs> I've got a manky piece of bar. Uh, is it worth a tap off, do you think? I don't know. <laughs> so. I think it might be gold. It would be nice, rusty gold. So, we found a windlass in the river. Because I've had a little walk down there with Kirsty. And we've come back up to the canal, but yeah, no one's found one in the canal yet. So, I take this down, and I'm going to give it to one of the boat owners for now, further down the, the canal. He can have that. Good morning. Only find of today so far, a hammer. That's why we don't like canals. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bar. Bar, haven't you? You need to raise the bar. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite long. Okay. We should be barred from bloody canal. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've been by the pillbox and we've given it a, given it a we've given it a shot, yeah. And uh, we're moving down a little bit further to uh, have a go at the, the, riv the bridge oh, across the river. Yes. So, see you in a sec. You've got a bowler. <laughs> Tinker Fox. That's about that then. Mr. Tinker Fox. Almost. Right, you might have saw earlier that we met a lovely, lovely man. He said if we found any... What are they? Windless. Windlesses, that's it. Windlesses. I couldn't think of the name. Um, he'd love one. And we're fishing the canal. Didn't pull the windlass out, went down to the river, had about 10 frowns, me and Kirsty did each of this one come up, so it looks like he's probably at yeah. the pub. He's so not he's not back yet, is he? We're gonna uh, I'm gonna leave this on his boat. So Vinny, if you see me putting this on your boat on your video, I'll put it on your boat. <laughs> witness to it. <laughs> I'll chuck it here for you, Vinny. I'll put it there. Sorted. Okay, you all. So we've moved down to the castle grounds, the bridge. That's all I've had so far. Here's Mike. I'm okay, I'm okay. I've looked to find and I'm all great. Uh, handle. Bloody hell, get the words out today, Mike. Yeah, one of those. So I've got a very old key here. 
record it up. I'm not, I'm not even going to say much about that because I have no clue as usual. Just put it a bit closer. Banky bar. <laughs> right, first row here we've got the remnants of an old shopping cart there. In beat. Michael's just found, is it you, Vanna? Yeah. Michael's just found that. It's about the only thing we've had out of here, so we'll take it back and clean oh, it and see what it is. You never know, do you? You never know. And today we've met up with, I did say earlier on the camera, we've met up with Corey. Corey's Magnet Hello. Adventures. So uh, like, subscribe to his channel, guys. And uh, we're going to have a little go over there because it's nothing coming out here at all, which is a good thing because the river's clean, but. We're going to try the floodplain over there and see if there's anything comes out. We're more going to get the boxes over that little wall. We're going to have a little go. There's another pillbox there as well, Mara. Yeah. Yeah. So. As you may have gathered, today we're in search of pillboxes. Um, and they're all, all along this river. So, I'm going to show you another one again in a minute. <laughs> so, I'm just walking along. Guys are already down here, but I've just been talking to a lovely lady because um, there's a uh, swans nesting and there's ducks nesting as well. So I'm just going to bring you up to the pillbox and uh, show you some history. So here we go. This is the next pillbox we're at. And, uh, right, where's the door? <laughs> Oh. That's the next pillbox. They're situated all along this river. Medieval square box, probably off. Oh, I don't know. I'm making it up again. I'm making it up. Whoa. But it's a big spike anyway. And a bolt. Alright, what have we got here? Yeah, there'll be a few of them in there. These are good to tap off. See what's in there. And. Oh! Would have been an handle off some kind of crate, maybe an ammo, ammo crate. crate. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so that's nice. Well, we've had this piece here. And a piece of pipe, but we will check. We always check for coins and crud, but nothing on that one. Make you wonder why we didn't come here first. I don't know if you can see that, everybody. See the piece of metal in there. Well, worth a look. I just pulled that out. I'm not sure. Until we tap it off and uh, try and identify what it is. So I've had this. I can't work out what it is, but I just don't know what it is. It's got like a bit of an owl there, and I don't know if it's just stuck to a pole or what. Interesting. Oh, hang on, it could be an old seat, couldn't it, off a bike? I don't know. And I found this piece as well. 
That is a weird piece that. Got an hole through it. So take that back and clean it up. Right then. Oh. I think this is the remnant of a very old stool. You can just see some slats on there. Although they're really rotted. And we've got two jumpers attached to it. <laughs> Lovely. We've got uh, what I think is a bucket handle there, guys. I think. Yeah, I think it is. Wrought iron anyway. Okay. We think... Oh no, I better get myself out of this. Glenn thinks this is a sword. It's got a hilt anyway. It's some sort of blade. It's a big hefty uh, piece of metal there. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, wow. Alright guys. So, a little bit of crud come up. I'm checking a bit more closely. You can see what appears to be either a brass or gold button attached to the crud. So we'll have a knock off of that later and see what's in there. He's on a roll lately with the gold coloured things, but uh, I think that's probably a stiletto. <laughs> Well, Michael's uh, got that out the crud. What do you think it is, Mike? Definitely some sort of button. But on the other side, but on the other side, <laughs> <laughs> but on. is the initials S, and just under there, there is, we believe to be an A. I'm going to let it dry out a bit more, and then we'll give it a clean. Mm. So hopefully, we'll be able to do a bit of research and find out what and where that's from. If nice. anybody knows, anybody down there knows, let us know, please. Lovely. Okay, guys, scratch SA on that button because Kirsty has rightly pointed out that it says US on there. I had it upside down. But yeah, a US brass button. Hopefully, we find out if it's from the army or not. This collar badge bearing the letters US, holds a significant place in American military history. The history of this collar badge is intertwined with a remarkable story of America's involvement in the Second World War. And as the nation mobilised its forces and millions of men and women answered the call to serve, this collar badge became an essential part of military identity often referred to as screwbacks. These badges were worn on the collars of uniforms and the design of each badge varied depending on the branch of service. These World War II collar badges are highly collectible amongst military enthusiasts and historians and are a tangible artefact of the wartime era. What an incredible find, Mike. I say... Bye, Jerv. Look at my moustache. I've been working on this for quite some time. <laughs> oh, you're stepping up your game. Stepping up your game. Hey. I'll put that with my Viking sword. I've got a nice hammerhead there. Look at the sharp piece on the end. Look at that. I've got a nest hook, and uh, Glenn likes to collect them. <laughs> so. Me hook? Me hook, yeah. They do come in useful. Oh. Now that is either a fence topper or the end to a polka, or it could be some kind of, I don't know, but we'll take it back and clean up. Look how old that is. I've just pulled up this piece of metal and I'm hoping it says smoke room or saloon on there. Wishful thinking, but you never know. <laughs> I've got a part of a wheel. <laughs> got me an old padlock here. Very old by the state of the crud on it. Big ball of crud there, I'm going to check in a minute. That's 
somehow so I can hold bike where uh, it is yeah I just found the spoke I'll bike wheel hub or it could be off a pram right so I've come down to this little bridge here and uh, this side you can actually get under the bridge as well so the guys are still up there a little bit but yeah I've come to have a little go down here I've got a spike <laughs> Another spike and probably a piece of a can. Hmm. I thought at first that might have been a, a key, but now it's uh, just some kind of hook. Fence pin and a big piece of angle iron. That's quite an heavy piece, that is. Big thick piece. Oh, I've got a nice spanner there. Look at that. I don't know if it's got any writing on, you know, any make or anything. <laughs> Yay! Oh. I've got an hammer. And piece of metal. I need the lads to come down because there is writing across there. But now I have no idea what that is. It's somewhat modern and could be something to do with scaffolding, but yeah, definitely writing across there, so. Misty mountains, dusty roads ahead Crossing rivers, dreaming of a bed From a window in the mighty clouds up high I can touch a stream of gold above
Right, as we say every week, it's come to the end of the day. It's been a, a day, we've had a laugh and a joke, that's the main thing. It has been a slow day. Hard work. Yeah. Yeah, but we came down to the last bridge of the day and, and as, as Sod's Law has it, uh, we started pulling out a bit out. So, got bits of check, uh, crud to check. My uncle's had a nice find, so I'll clean that up and show it on the find. Maria put the history on a berry. Um, and we don't know what else we've got yet until we check the crud, so... Steve and Alison have gone because obviously uh, Steve's still ill, so if you can wish Steve... But I got well. out. He the got out. Me forever. He got out. And we had Corey join us today from Corey's Magnet uh, Adventures. Please go across and subscribe to his channel, guys. He's a lovely lad. His dad just came to come and collect him. He's a lovely, genuine lad. So and if you can you... like and subscribe to his channel, that'd be brilliant. And as you've seen, you have got to search that history. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. With it doesn't always come doesn't just land on our doorsteps, we have to go and research and look yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. Doorsteps isn't very good. We research. We never get on our doorsteps. <laughs> <laughs> milk bottles. Oh. Oh, milk bottles, yeah. We researched, researched to a T, went to two wonderful places and found, and came to a random place and found everything. That's why your research pays off. And so I'll tell you how good the research is. I told him this place two years ago was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> and he still wanted to come. And guess what? It's still rubbish. <laughs> Guess we what? Now, did we know you? We, we won't be back. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we probably won't be back here. But to be fair, we will invite invite Corey out again if we're ever in the Midlands, because he's, he's a diamond of a lad. And to be fair to him, he's he's, oh. he's pulled some stuff out and um, he's pulled some scrap out on his yeah, own. That yeah, lad has. Yeah, yeah. So uh, big up, to, uh, big thumbs up to you there, Corey. He's a and big he is brilliant lad. Yeah, you couldn't miss him with his bright orange trousers on. It didn't, but, uh, stop. it didn't stop. No. It didn't stop. So, guys, big love to you all. Like, subscribe to us if you haven't already, and we shall see you on the finds. Bye. Stay tuned. Bye. The finds roundup. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the premiere, and uh, thanks for joining us tonight, all you lovely people. And um, we went to Tamworth, and uh, we went right in front of the castle. We went to a few places before, and but. Um, I'll be quite honest with you, it's not a place we'll probably return to quick. We got a little bit of rubbish out of the water, went into the mic, back of Mike's van, as he does every week. We always take our scrap. Um, so we've got a few finds for Roche, but nothing to write home about. I think Mike had best find of the day, didn't I? Yep. Yeah. I've got some really old relics on the table. I mean, right there. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Is Rusty? Rusty's in the house, and we look a, a right mess, the pair of us, because we've been grafting. Yeah. The last two days we've been fitting new doors and coving and things like that, so that's why I'm down in Birmingham helping my brother Peaky. <laughs> <laughs> and he's been brilliant. I mean, he has helped a little bit. He held the doors in places, I was hanging them and everything. <laughs> he's done the majority of the work. But, um,. Yeah, so I shall pass you on to Rusty because he's got an update about the uh, dog tag. Yes, the dog tag that Alison found a few weeks ago is uh, we're just waiting on an address to come through from the States now. We found the owner uh, or the family of the owner and uh, that will be posted back to uh, the family. So we're just waiting on an update. We'll give you a, an update once we get an address through and hopefully a follow up video. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? It would, yeah. So we'll show you what we got from Tamworth, guys, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He's going home in a bit, and I, I could be able to sleep without, you know, my nose being tickled or something. But, uh, <laughs> no, I will miss it. We've got some finds, but nothing to write down there. My glad a good little find, so I'll show that last. Yeah. So, um, right. We've got this thing that I started cleaning up, but it's all metal filings on it. It's a little magnet. I dread to think of how old that is. Oh, that's been in there some time, hasn't it? I've got a bath plug, a bath plug stronger than that. It's hardly got any pull left on it, has it? Nothing, no pull at all. But there is a bit there. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> now, Marie bought this back. Marie brings weird pieces Why? back. Why? It's a bit of fall pipe. A bit of cast iron drain pipe. Yeah. Yeah, it's 1800s, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's an old piece of pipe. It is, it's history. It's... Yeah, it's definitely is true. You go um, too quick. <laughs> you've got you've got rollocks. You got a rollock? Yeah, I've got a rollock in. <laughs> <laughs> so we found a rollock. Have a boat. Again, that's an old one. It is. 
And I'm always nice to keep. I mean, you, you know. That works. <laughs> you want that? No. no. <laughs> we've got um, we've got the handle off an ammo, ammo crate. Yeah, it's just a shame we didn't get the rest of the crate. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. But that's what that is. It, it is a handle. And looking at it, I'd say that's some heavy duty crate as well. So possibly grenades or 50 cals or something along that lines. I do apologise, I haven't cleaned anything up because um We've been busy. We've been busy. <laughs> been decorating. Decorating. <laughs> we have this weird thing, it looks a bit something like off uh, War of the Worlds, doesn't it? Oh, but uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is. It's the first time I've seen this. I don't know if it's off an old push bike or something. No, that looks like a cover off a caster. Oh, an old, ah, an old yes. caster. Yes, you're right. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Very strange. It's got a Roman name on the outside. It's a sabaton. <laughs> it's a sabaton. <laughs> it goes over your big toe, this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it is a caster cover. So, that's I'll let you do that one. Now this one, Glenn didn't know what this one was, he thought it was an arrowhead, but it's not. This is what's called a hot iron, and they used a lot of these in the car industry for leading. Now, when they put, put the shells of the cars together in the old days, the roof seams and the gutter seams and things like that, they used to fill them with hot lead, and that's what they used to uh, smooth out the lead on the seams. But they used them for other things as well, but that's what that is, it's a hot iron. It's not a narrow head. <laughs> oh, I'm going to burst my bubble. I know what this is. A meat hook. So, um, I do actually collect these. I've got about five or six hanging off each other in the back garden. Well, step the side there. Can I burst your bubble? Oh, it's not a meat hook. What is it? It's a game hook. It's a game hook. For hanging yeah. birds, dead birds. Pheasant. Pheasant women. No, pheasants. Oh, pheasants. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, okay, so well, it's meat, it's still meat. They're made of plastic, are they? Yeah, but they're called game and the game hooks. <laughs> Be a game, trying to get a bird on that. You get a brace of pheasant or hang your chickens and things like that. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a very old hammerhead. Oh, it is, yeah. Um, now I was looking at hammerheads the other day, funny enough, because you, you've got something similar but I've got to show on another video soon yeah and uh, I was looking at hammerheads and this one going by that's the cut here it's very old it's quite thin as well yeah yeah we, we see pin hammers but I've never you don't normally see them with the, the end that thin but no <laughs> interesting there's the hammerhead <laughs> right Steve now this Glenn just thought this was a piece of metal bar and Mr Perry pulled that up and he's just fetched it in about 10 minutes ago before we uh, filming this and I said it's a knife of some sort because if you look that is actually the tang that goes inside a handle of a knife or a file I don't think it's a flat file because there's no uh, serrations or anything on there so I do think it is part of a some some form of knife what kind of flat knife I don't know but that is definitely a tang to for a handle so mm. That's an interesting one, and it's been in the water quite some time, that, hasn't yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Longer than me and you have been on the planet. It's not thick enough to be a file, either. So, I don't know. It's, it is a knife of some sort, whether it's some some kind of farming knife. Uh, this is the thing, there's that many uses, and there's like leather work, there's... there's uh, Something like this, I would have said, was farming, agricultural. Yeah. But, there you go. No, I'm going to let you explain about this one now. Michael found... <laughs> Michael found this, I did, I did clean this up because we had to clean it up to get some info on it but Michael found that and that is a beautiful find It is um, it, The screw backing is intact It's a stud It's a stud oh, It is screwed isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it has its got so screw back it? yeah. <clears throat> So it come up and off but uh, we have found out that this would have been on the collars to the US, trench coats Yeah the American servicemen's trench coats the, they'd have one on each collar, on each side. Oh, I feel like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a lovely piece of World War Two history. It is beautiful, that is. It is. 
So there must have been uh, an American servicemen's camp close by to Tamworth then. There's got to have been, uh, when jo uh, Corey joined us and he actually did say to me, he says, there's a lot of, um, he, he researched with a lot of horses down by the castle uh, in World War II, so perhaps... US Cavalry then, yeah. US Cavalry, so... so that's a lovely find by Mike, that. It is. Lovely, lovely little keepsake, that one. Love things like this. Yeah. As you know. Well, yeah. Trinkets. But yeah, it's, it's threaded on the back, not uh, riveted, so... Yeah. There you go. On that note, I'd just like to say uh, a big shout out to Corey. Magnet Adventures, he's a lovely lad, absolute diamond of a lad, um, he, he's just so nice, bless him. And next time I'm out of that area or when I'm close to him, I'll ask him out to come and meet us again. He's a diamond, it's gorgeous. It's a shame I couldn't make it that day, but I was still recovering from my illness, which I'm fighting fit now, but, well, I was until <laughs> Glenn's wore me out over the last few days. <laughs> <laughs> but that out, oh, guys, thank you ever so much. Thanks for watching the video, we hope you enjoyed it. And um, what is it what the rod to Ronnie said? To me, do you? No, that's, no, that's not Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> it's good night from him. It is good night from him.